Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you the amazing story of six underground vigilantes who fight against evil tyrants around the world. This is the plot of the action-packed movie Six Underground, starring Ryan Reynolds and directed by Michael Bay. If you haven't seen it yet, you're missing out on a thrilling ride. But don't worry, I'm here to give you a spoiler-free summary of the movie and why you should watch it. Let's dive in. The movie begins with a high-speed car chase in Florence, Italy, where we meet the leader of the team, one, Ryan Reynolds. He is a billionaire who faked his own death to form a secret squad of operatives who have no identities and no ties to any government. They are the ghosts who can do what no one else can, take down the world's most notorious criminals and terrorists. One has recruited five other ghosts, each with a unique skill and a number for a name. There's two, Melanie Lauron, a former CIA spy and master of disguise, three, Manuel Garcia Rulfo, a hitman with a dark sense of humor, four, Ben Hardy, a park hour runner and thief who can scale any building, five, Audria Arjona, a doctor and hacker who can patch up any wound, and six, Dave Franco, a driver who can maneuver any vehicle. Their first mission is to interrogate the lawyer of the four generals who control the fictional country of Turgistan a brutal dictatorship ruled by Rovak Alimov, Leo Raz. They want to find out where the generals are and how to overthrow Rovak and replace him with his brother Murat, Payman Madi, a pro-democracy activist who is imprisoned and tortured by Rovak. The interrogation turns into a chaotic chase across the city as the team is pursued by the mafia and the police. Along the way, they encounter various obstacles, such as a woman with a baby carriage, a group of nuns and a famous painting by Botticelli. They also use some unconventional weapons, such as a magnetized yacht, a rocket launcher, and a pair of eyeballs. The chase ends with a tragic twist, as Six is killed by a grenade while saving the team. The team is devastated by the loss of Six, who was their friend and family. They wrap his body in a flag and throw him into the ocean, honoring his sacrifice. They also realize that they need a new driver to complete their mission, and one has already found a candidate, Seven, Corey Hawkins, a former Delta Force sniper who is haunted by his past. Seven is introduced to the team in Hong Kong, where he learns about their vision and their plan. He is reluctant at first, but he decides to join them after witnessing the atrocities committed by Rovak in Turgistan. He fakes his own death and becomes a ghost, leaving behind his brother and his military career. The team then embarks on a series of daring operations to infiltrate Turgistan and assassinate the generals. They use their skills, gadgets, and teamwork to overcome the challenges and enemies they face. They also discover more about each other's pasts and personalities, and form a bond that goes beyond their numbers. Will they succeed in their mission and liberate Turgistan from Rovaka's tyranny? Will they survive the dangers and betrayals that await them? Will they find a new purpose and a new family in their underground life? To find out, you have to watch the movie and see for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this summary of Six Underground, and I hope you will check out the movie on Netflix. It's a fun, action-packed, and explosive adventure that will keep you on the edge of your seat. If you like movies like Mission, Impossible, Fast and Furious, or The A-Team, you will love this one. And if you're a fan of Ryan Reynolds, you will definitely enjoy his performance and his witty remarks. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. See you next time. Bye.